Hey, what's up people? How are you all doing? Trying something new out of the ordinary that I do, the old guy thing. Hi guys, how are you all doing? Like the old ghost from the back in the 70s or something. Yeah, I'm an old man. Sometimes I hate that. I hate that. I hate being old. So <laughs> as you guys can see, I have something, you know, I have lined up something. Uh, no, you haven't seen it. I have lined up actually two videos back to back and I am actually not feeling all that well. That's the hoodie and uh, I'm suffering from some flu, the seasonal flu that's going on around the air. So yeah, as you can see, but the best remedy for flu is fragrance reviews, guys. Talking about fragrances, nothing better than that. All right, so we're gonna be doing this, all right? So first video right now, this video, as you can see, I'll be talking about one fragrance from Calvin Klein for women. So that the fragrance, it's beautiful fragrance i'm gonna talk everything about this and i think there's not many reviews on this all right so the fragrance is very beautiful bottle here you can see this is eternity moment from calvin klein house of calvin klein so i decided to do uh, borrow this from my lady she loved this. this this is her bottle and then she really treasures it so i decided to talk about it and put the information out there so some people benefited so that's there i'm going to talk about it in details in this video uh, second video what i'm going to do is back to back after this is the ultimate talk the king i'm gonna be like settling this for once and for all i know many people already did this but this is my turn the king aventus and the comparison video with this and the clones all right i'll show you in the next video so which ones you should you should look into which one so far i think is the best or is aventus worth it the ultimate question right so that's the second video so before i go into eternity moment i want to update you on one thing i'm wearing this one fragrance in my head and I cannot stop wearing it. This is Armaf Niche Oud, all right? This is fragrance fit for kings or let's say sultans, you know? So the thing is, uh, out of excitement, I missed out on one point about this fragrance. I missed out three notes that I like totally forgot to emphasize on, which this fragrance has very prominent, you know, uh, components to, all right? The first one, I think I missed out on the incense. I did talk about it, but incense takes over the darkness. The incense, you're going to get the darkness from this, right? So second one is dates. I didn't mention it. Dates is just like the Dolce & Gabbana, the one, Royal Night. That sort of date opening. Very beautiful, very fruity, a little bit dry, but very playful at the same time and not loud. All that good stuff in one. And the last one is cinnamon. This is a cinnamon bomb. I mentioned amber. Amber is great. Woody, everything is great. Whatever woods insists is good, but that's... The uh, other side, the amber is doing the major game alongside with the cinnamon. That's where you get the spiciness. So anyway, you guys can look into this. Uh, this is a definite, definite win. That's a masterpiece of a fragrance, all right? So it's a hidden gem. So that's out of the way. So let's look at the, very quickly at this Calvin Klein fragrance for women. So this fragrance, before I start, uh, I have got my notes on the phone, all right? So this fragrance actually, uh, oh, okay, here, finally found them. So this fragrance, all right, ah, I hate this, hate magn <laughs> the fingerprints, all right. This fragrance has tons of flankers, and this is actually one of the flankers. The original one is Eternity for Women. And as you guys also know, I have another Eternity, also a flanker, that is Eternity Aqua, right? So this is also a flanker from the original Eternity for Men. Very popular fragrance line from the House of Calvin Klein. Sells a lot of bottles, guys. This one, however, is no exception, even though this is a... Um, flanker i tried this on and i really love this fragrance all right i don't have the box with me so i'll tell you some of the flankers uh, from this line some of them would be calvin klein eternity intense eternity love this one the moment eternity night eternity night for women oh god there is also a purple orchid there is rose blush those are for women eternity summer eternity summer 2006 7 and so on so you can see it's like a this line is like a endless like babies, you know, that, that, that this family never stopped producing. So first of all, representation wise, this is a beautiful looking tall bottle. It's like a skyscraper. It looks very, very, very neat and very nice looking bottle. It looks like Elizabeth Arden sort of bottle, but I really like it, the simplicity of it. And the juice inside is really pretty, all right? And uh, the thing is, the fragrance, actually the juice color represents the fragrance, how it smells, all right? So yeah, the juice inside is a little bit of peach, bit pinkish and uh, very girly and this is a girly scent all right so the cap here snug fit you can pick it up no problem whatsoever but don't play too much all right it might fall off and don't blame me so this is a plastic but looks really nice 
very nice see-through sort of a Diorum sport that sort of a cap the sprayer here works really fine so let me show you the sprayer so you will talk about it later bam bam let's go to spray on the girly fragrance why not no problem I'm not scared I'm not ashamed mm, let that settle down for a while it smells really good already in the room so it, since it's very tall it looks very eye-catching in a way that it covers a lot of area and takes less space in your storage so that's great that's really great thinking bottom is sticker I think yeah 100 ml 3.4 this is a big bottle and back nothing much it's all see-through nice glass heavy bottle excellent box I'll put a picture as uh, you can see in the opening all right so this fragrance let me talk about the notes in fragrant and then I'll tell you what I get from it and is it worth getting all right and who is it for so the fragrance actually is a um, uh, modern young women according to fragrant and it's a uh, fresh floral aroma and as well as uh, some fruitiness and then the notes would be lychee the pomegranate I don't know how you say that pomegranate pomegranate my English all right blossom water lily Chinese pink peony guava musk and woody notes all right so I think personally those are the official notes but let me tell you what I get from it all right so this fragrance when you spray it on it's you cannot miss it just like the juice color it's a very curly scent okay let me tell you right away I wear a lot of women's perfumes I own them I wear them very proudly some of them most of them are darker ones and some of them are lighter ones but not so much florals florals give me headache like black opium my love I love this fragrance always my top five now so as you can see for love for my female fragrances I'm not saying this is a bad fragrance just because I'm not gonna wear it this is not a bad fragrance at all this is just I'm saying I don't think guys would like it much on them because this tilts more towards sweet side floral side but in a very nice way so if you're looking for a fragrance for your lady or you are a lady and you are actually trying to buy a fragrance in the market this one is a definite definite uh, good fragrance for you to enjoy in summer and spring days all right um, upon the first spray I think I get a very nice uh, the first impression that I get instead of telling the notes I'll tell you what impression I get I get a very nice spring bouquet of florals flowers mix of lotus a little bit of jasmine bit of very young pink rose and I think the peony flower whatever the, how you say that so it's a mix of florals come right away and it's not sickeningly sweet all right it's not sickeningly sweet or overpowering floral so that's a good thing and then alongside with those florals you're gonna get that lychee note lychee lychee however you said that fruit all right so that fruit note is very evident you gotta love it so the fruity and floral opening all right very nice very nice very fresh very uh bright so if you wear this for a summer days perfect so i'll tell you the longevity on this is pretty okay not bad at all this reminds me of chanel chance one second is a uh, coco mademoiselle but in a very light and very non nauseating way very nice very nice opening but the thing is scary part for women's fragrances are I always see the dry down always become too floral and headache inducing this one doesn't give me headaches all right this one doesn't give me headaches at all this is a very nice light uh, fruity floral uh, fragrance alongside uh, I think there is a wait I forgot what else is in there guava I don't get any guava from this woody notes lychee blossom water lily yeah the lotus and the water lily those floral notes are very evident in this so if you like your floral scents if you're looking for something elegant classy young for everyday wear you know every single day you wear it and you want to smell nice you know you want to you want your girlfriend to smell really floral and very very appealing and you're going for dates you can give her as a gift as a guy uh, guys uh, most of the guys I think 90% of the guys out there I'm not no one to judge but I think they'll find this tad bit feminine right so I'm not gonna recommend this for guys but definitely it's a winner for women so uh, is there anything to hate about it sometimes some of these floral fragrances uh, they start off really nice rose floral jasmine this and that but on the dry down they become very yucky too much musk too much of sandalwood becomes bitter and not wearable for uh, summer days so this is a good summer and spring fragrance winter time I think it's too light so women who like to dress very classy elegant scarf hair nice hat big sunglasses Gucci sunglasses Versace sunglasses yeah they they definitely can rock this and this smells like high class fragrance all right doesn't smell cheap at all so for the price I think it's about I don't know $35 and above I think around I'm not exactly how much she bought it for I think it's not very expensive so 30 expect to pay 30 between 30 to 50 maximum all right so what you get for 100 
you had 100 mil, very good value. Uh, what it will be good for everyday wear. I think ladies can wear this every day. You can wear this for any casual purpose, your girlfriend hangouts, uh, girly nights hangout. If you're going for brunch, definitely breezy day. You wear this, you pass by, imagine like a bunch of guys sitting there sipping coffee and chugging on their beer and stuff. They'll be like, oh, that girl is a sweet girl. All right, remember the movie Sweet Home Alabama? Reese Witherspoon, sweet girl. Yeah, this is a sweet girl, very, very beautiful, sweet uh, young lady. That's kind of scent. Doesn't have that uh, seriousness or the maturity that, you know, it's going to scare people off. Oh, this is a cougar. No, no such thing. This is for ideal for college, university girls. Uh, school girls, I'm not quite sure with there because this is a bit sensual, you know, because of the floral. It comes a little bit sexy. So maybe your school girls are not mature enough to wear this, but if you want to wear, absolutely, steal from your mom or elder sister, no problem. Um, seasons, as I mentioned, spring and summer, excellent juice. If you're in the office and you're wearing like a girly dress instead of a office, corporate office attire, I don't think it will go nicely with that. Formal, like if you're wearing a suit, ladies wearing a suit, I don't think it will go with it because this is a bit feminine side. So if you're wearing skirts, um, maybe a top, beautiful top, colorful top, like a pink top, absolutely all right, okay? This one will be perfect for your dating time. And if it's not too hot, like if it's too hot, like 40 plus, sickening is hot, I'm, I'm not sure this is a good idea because florals can be headache inducing in the heat. Remember that. So overall mark for longevity, this is pretty still good. I'm going to give this 7.5 out of 10. Last really long time. Uh, 7.5, why? Because I have better performing fragrances than this, like Juicy Couture, Gold Couture, um, my Black Opium. Those are like 9, 10 bombshells, all right? Uh, projection, this is great for projection, like the green tea, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Arden green tea. This one fills up the whole room. If you enter a room, air conditioning going on, everybody's going to know a beautiful girl enters the room. I'm not gonna say be biased or you know like a douchebag oh only pretty girl should wear this no 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 beautiful girl as in inside your heart this is feels like a very clean heart very uh, sweet person would wear this very tender very nice um, beautiful pretty however you said it. it's a good soul scent <laughs> so for the smell I really love the smell never ever got me uh, like feeling sick because of the lychee lychee note that fruity note keeps you captivated like all the time summertime perfect all right so for the scent i'm gonna give this nine out of ten very high mark i love this scent this is very beautiful juice um compliments wise definitely gonna pick up compliments i don't see any any way you can pick up from this woody cologne citrusy there's also citrus vibe from it from the florals but i guess it's from the lychee lychee so yeah perfect for summer days casual uh, as i told you all those purposes uh is it unique no i think i as i told you chanel chance and many fragrances Coco Mademoiselle, they, they kind of have this vibe, but this is lighter version of all those. All right, so it's very wearable uh, floral scent. So ultimate remark, I'm going to give this very high remark because I love this scent already. I may keep like a 10 ml from this bottle. I'm not sure, but not for myself. Just want to sniff it sometimes. I would love to sniff this on like my girl. And I think this one will be a good fragrance to buy with eternity, like men and women side by side, one for him, one for her. Perfect couple scent, all right? So, yep, my remark for this is very, very high on this. I recommend this. Give it a try if you haven't tried it already. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Wait for the next video, the ultimate comparison and the battle royal. Creed versus rest of the world. Take care. See you guys. Bye-bye.